the apocalypse is starting to make a little more sense. And they've already said this season is all about the Antichrist. So sometimes it's best to hear from the people involved themselves. So I'm going to play some audio for you, and it's going to be from Nicholas Schreck. He's the gentleman over on the left-hand side right there. So this is Anton LaVey's son-in-law as he's married to Zena LaVey. Anton LaVey, of course, is the founder of the Church of Satan. And he explains very clearly what the satanic agenda is for the rest of us. So check this out. We are in control because basically we are not a political organization. We are an occult organization. We are working behind the scenes to manipulate the way that people think. The war that we are waging is a guerrilla war on the human mind. And we use musical frequencies, the dominant frequency, which I've referred to before, and symbolism and imagery to awaken dormant aspects of the human mind. And symbolism and imagery to awaken dormant aspects of the human mind. What we're waging is a cultural war right now on every front, in music, in literature, utilizing the media against itself. And we're using music because that's the, that's the instrument that young people respond to right now. We're doing propaganda directly to awaken the wolf in man. We are in control and symbolism and imagery to awaken dormant aspects of the human mind. Politics is merely the puppet show of human beings and we transcend that, but we are interested in the control of human beings for our own purposes. We are in control and the wolf represents the beast in man. That's what we seek to unleash in humanity because it's been repressed and tamed by Judeo-Christian values, and that above all is what we seek to eradicate. The wolf should be unleashed, destroying everything that Judeo-Christianity has succored and kept alive. We have no concern for the homeless, particularly. We don't have any concern in helping people. As Adolf Hitler said, we seek to bring about a youth that has closed its heart to pity. All of the humanist values that Judeo-Christianity has encouraged, we want to wipe them out. It's led to democracy, social humanism, the idea of equality. All of this filth has to be wiped out if the human race is going to continue to take the next step in evolution. The end of the old order, an end of the old world, and the beginning of a new order. So now I want to talk about some of the ways that the beast system is manifesting itself more and more before our very eyes.